Good morning. Today is February 1st. Here are today's top news stories. Researchers of the coronavirus are saying they might have discovered a new symptom of the virus that could be more long-term. Many people living after the virus have found that they have gotten COVID tongue. They have found that 35% of people know that they have the, developed the COVID tongue three days after getting diagnosed. Symptoms to look out for include swelling patchy areas on the tongue and sores along the inside of the mouth and on the sides of the tongue. The last two Toys R Us stores have officially closed one year after an attempted comeback. All U.S. stores closed in 2018 and the chain attempted a comeback at two stores in Texas and New Jersey, but due to COVID, the stores have both closed. However, stores remain open in all other countries such as Australia and England, and the website is still available. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today, on Monday, we will have a high of 30 and a low of 16 degrees. This morning, we will have light snow with no accumulation, but one to three inches is possible across the southern Finger Lakes, Cortland and Shitnango. Tonight, we will be, we will, tonight will be different with heavy snow developing close to midnight and coming from the southeast. Additionally, heavier, heavier snow will continue on into early Tuesday morning and areas southeast of Syracuse can get five to eight inches. Tuesday is Groundhog's Day and we'll have brisk snow and maybe heavy snow in the morning with a high of 27 and a low of 20 degrees. However, on Tuesday, we seem to have a high chance of a snow day and I guess there's probably gonna be at least a 50% chance for a snow day. And anyway, I'm Grayson with your weather. Had a comeback win against NC State 76 to 73. Forward Alan Griffin led the team in points with 19. The Detroit Lions have traded star quarterback Matthew Stafford to the LA Rams in exchange for two future first round draft picks, a third round pick, and QB Jared Goff. Stafford requested a trade and was said to have to be willing to accept trade to any team except the New England Patriots. I'm Aiden with your sports. That's our show today. So from me and everyone else here at the morning show, have a great day.